I live in Toronto and the condo that I live in is about 470 square feet. I've been living here for about two years. For me, I would say space wasn't too big of an issue. Uh, I didn't grow up here. I actually grew up in Hong Kong and uh, spaces there are, are like this. It's super dense. So I'm used to living in like a condo sized unit. I've never really thought of, you know, upgrading to a place with a larger square footage. I love having a hallway, like an entrance way into the place because it doesn't I guess give away everything that I have inside yet. Yeah? Um, and it's nice that I was able to find a really narrow shoe cabinet because I didn't want anything to clutter up this already kind of narrow space. So making sure that the space is used wisely was, was really important. So this is my closet and I have like the two double doors going on. Since there's winter here in Toronto, I have a lot of winter jackets and boots and shoes and stuff. Um, what's nice is that there's the light in here, so it's easier to see. And on the other side, I have the stacked laundry. I have both the washer and the dryer. Uh, super convenient since it is a small space. It's, it's nice that I have this so I don't have to go to the laundromat. So after you come through from the entryway, the first space that you'll see is the kitchen. I have a bit of a kitchen island, like a floating island here. And I have like the sink and storage behind me. Um, the storage is something that I really liked because of the way the cabinet doors open up. Um, I love that it goes so high up, so there's actually a lot of storage space uh, to use. So a lot of my pantry items I can keep on one side, while as the other side I can keep my plates and cups. So my fridge is at, up top and my uh, freezer is at the bottom. Uh, we also have the dishwasher, some more storage space. Uh, I would say the counter space is pretty uh, ample, like there's enough room to do a lot of things. I think one of the biggest surprising things that I saw when I came in was actually the stovetop because it being floating and at the edge of the island always felt very foreign, but I've gotten so used to it now, especially because I have a TV to watch while I'm cooking. It makes this so much more entertaining than if I were to cook here and face a wall. So this was a surprise that I didn't think I'd like a lot, but I, I've grown to really, really enjoy that. Um, so that's something. I have an oven here as well as the microwave. So all the appliances you would expect to have in a kitchen are here. Um, one thing that I do have uh, a bit of a complaint about probably is just, although I have a lot of storage space up top, I'm 5'4", <laughs> so me having to reach all the things at the top are a little bit difficult. I'll either get my boyfriend to do it for me so I save the time, or of course I have my ladder out front in the storage in my closet. There's space underneath the counter where a person can sit across from each other without there being any issues, and it's kind of comfortable. Yeah, I don't think this is very common, I guess, but it's, it's definitely a feature I, I really like. Uh, and then coming off of the kitchen, of course, there's the living area. Uh, despite it not being the largest living room, I think I, I managed to make it feel very homey and cozy. I wanted to have a feature wall that was very bright and I had a lot of books uh, during my move and I knew that I wanted to, one, be able to display them, but second, you know, making it functional in its storage. So using my walls was gonna be one way to do that. Probably not my best choice to do exposed shelves because of the whole dusting thing. <laughs> but, you know, if, as long as people don't look too closely, it's never that big of a problem. Um, I have some art pieces up. Uh, some are prints that I got during my travels and some are like pieces of work from artists. I was very excited to get this couch because I've never had a velvet couch in my life. <laughs> I knew I wanted something very cozy and comfy and leather wasn't gonna do it for me. So I've managed to find this really nice deep blue couch from Article. So I was very, very excited to get this. Something that I really wanted to do was get my TV mounted on the wall because I just love the fact that there's no wire showing. Huge plus and it, this way I get to put things on the media console. So in this case, I have my turntable, I have some speakers and I have um, some of my vinyls. So having this was essential for me because I just have music playing throughout my place all the time. I found a media console table that 
fit well with the space and wasn't very large because I found that that was something that was a little bit harder to find since my access to the balcony door get, would get in the way if I had a long one. What's nice about this coffee table is that there's some storage beneath. So I'm able to store, like I said, a lot of the books that I had. With a space so small, I think it's always really beneficial to find creative ways to be able to put more stuff away. So this worked out really nicely. And to the left of the living room would be my bedroom. This is probably about 110 square feet. It's pretty spacious, I think, by the look of it at a glance. Um, but I do think a big part of that would be the way I arranged my bed in the, in the space. And the size of my bed is a double size. I think it's really common normally to put your bed in the middle and then have two nightstands. But since I work from home, I'd rather have a desk. I'd want to be able to put in uh, my piano. And in terms of storage, I made sure to find a desk that had some storage built on top of it. That way I'm not wasting any space whatsoever. Um, and then in terms of clothing storage, I have two closets. Uh, on either side of the entrance to my bathroom. I have uh, the one by my desk here and the one right behind the door. So at a glance, it was really great that uh, from the floor plans that there were two closets in here, but because of how they have to open one by one, anything in the middle is just in the abyss now. I've never touched anything that is right in the center of my closet. So everything that I use constantly, I have to put on the sides. I wanted an ensuite bathroom, so I'm really glad I was able to find that. And it's actually an extra thing is that the door actually connects back to the kitchen. The space itself in the bathroom isn't the largest, but there's still enough room for me to move around. Uh, they thought of some really good storage off of the side, which is nice. It's kind of things that I use every day. Um, there's also a built-in mirror cabinet where I'm able to keep um, a lot of extra stuff. and. I needed more storage because who doesn't need more storage? So once again, I utilized the walls and tried to put most of my hair products on it. And of course, there's some storage below the sink as well. Uh, I have a shower. I don't have a bathtub, although that was something that was uh, a consideration for me. But one thing that I really liked was the little shower nook that I'm able to hold all of my hair products. So it's nice that it's built in. I think living central but in a smaller space is advantageous because then you have uh, flexibility to go anywhere pretty easily, especially as a person who doesn't drive. I bike everywhere, I walk everywhere, I take the subway, so being central in a city is great for that. I would say that challenges are definitely present with living in a space like this. Storage is always going to be the number one issue. I'm lucky here that I have a storage unit in the building, so I have a lot of my more seasonal uh, items there or larger items that I don't use often to store there. And in terms of my work life, since I work from home, it was important that I needed to have uh, space for me to feel like I can separate work and living and a big help too is that I have a door to my bedroom so I kind of use my desk in my bedroom as a workspace and everything else would be more leisure. I am a freelance designer but outside of that I, I make some YouTube videos sometimes. A lot of it is music covers, occasionally I have lifestyle content on it. I don't think I have any real plans of you know upgrading the space to get like a two bedroom of any sort but if i really work from home for the long term then perhaps maybe like a one bed plus den like just a den to have a proper workspace that's even separate from my bedroom but you know it with with prices and things like that like i that's not in my mind right now Subscribe to Exploring Alternatives and check out our playlists for more small space tours like this. You can also follow Janet on her YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.